the number one supplement to stop balding and help shrink the prostate. There are two medications we will look at today, finasteride and sore palmetto. Finasteride is a medication that is commonly used for the treatment of male pattern baldness and benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Male pattern baldness is a genetic condition that affects millions of men worldwide. Finasteride works by blocking the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, DHT, a hormone that is responsible for the development of male pattern baldness. By reducing the levels of DHT in the body, Finasteride can help to slow down or even reverse the progression of hair loss in men with male pattern baldness. Finasteride is also used to treat BPH, which is a condition that causes an enlarged prostate gland in men. The recommended dose for BPH treatment is 5 mg per day, which is higher than the dose used for male pattern baldness. Finasteride works by reducing the size of the prostate gland, which can help to improve urinary symptoms such as difficulty urinating or frequent urination. Like any medication, finasteride can have side effects. The most common side effects include decreased sex drive, trouble getting or maintaining an erection, and ejaculation disorder. Other less common side effects may include breast enlargement or tenderness. These side effects usually go away once the medication is discontinued. It is important to note that women must not take finasteride. Additionally, individuals under the age of 18 should not take finasteride. Discussing any potential medication with a qualified medical professional is always important, as they can provide personalized advice and recommendations based on your specific health needs and medical history. Saw Palmetto is a supplement made from the Serenoa repens tree fruit, commonly used to treat benign prostate hyperplasia, BPH. BPH is a common condition that causes the prostate gland to become enlarged, which can lead to urinary problems. Saw palmetto has been found to improve symptoms associated with BPH, including difficulty urinating and a frequent need to urinate. In addition to its use in treating BPH, Saw Palmetto has been studied for its potential benefits for male pattern baldness. However, the research on this topic is limited, and the results are mixed. However, some studies have suggested that Saw Palmetto may effectively reduce hair loss and promote growth in bald men. Despite the potential benefits, it is essential to note that Saw Palmetto may also have side effects. Some individuals may experience stomach upset or nausea and there have been reports of saw palmetto causing liver damage in rare cases. Additionally, saw palmetto may interact with certain medications, so it is essential to consult with a healthcare provider before taking this supplement. In conclusion, saw palmetto may benefit both male pattern baldness and BPH. However, the research on saw palmetto's effectiveness for hair loss is limited, and the results are mixed. If you are considering taking saw palmetto, it is essential to discuss it with your healthcare provider and to be aware of the potential side effects and drug interactions. Saw palmetto and finasteride are used for male pattern baldness and benign prostatic hyperplasia BPH, but differ in their potency and safety profile. Saw palmetto is a supplement made from the fruit of the Serenoa repens tree which has been shown to improve symptoms of BPH and improve urinary flow, quality of life, and sexual function in men. Saw palmetto generally has a better safety profile than finasteride and is less likely to interact with other medicines. However, finasteride is stronger or more potent than saw palmetto and a much lower dosage is necessary to exhibit its effects. Finasteride is FDA approved explicitly for treating male pattern baldness whereas saw palmetto is not. In summary, while saw palmetto has been shown to improve symptoms of BPH and has a better safety profile, finasteride is generally considered more potent and more effective for treating male pattern baldness. Discussing the benefits and risks of both options with a healthcare provider before deciding is essential. Do not stop taking any prescribed medications or treatments without consulting your doctor. 
the materials and the information contained on this channel are provided for general and educational purposes only, and do not constitute any legal, medical or other professional advice on any subject matter.